This is Phil Schumacher with the National Weather Service in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. This is a multimedia weather briefing highlighting the severe weather threat for Friday, October 4th. This briefing was created on Thursday, October 3rd at 3 p.m. There is a moderate risk for severe thunderstorms over much of northern and central Iowa, as well as southern Minnesota, including the cities of Sioux City, Spencer, Storm Lake in Iowa, and Worthington and Jackson in southern Minnesota. Surrounding this moderate risk on Friday is a slight risk that includes portions of southeast South Dakota, the remainder of southwestern Minnesota, and northeastern Nebraska, including the cities of Sioux Falls, Yankton, and Marshall. While there is a lot of uncertainty yet about exactly where thunderstorms will develop on Friday, our thinking right now is that thunderstorms will develop in northern Iowa or far southern Minnesota sometime on Friday afternoon, and these storms could rapidly become severe and have the potential to produce isolated damaging tornadoes. The greatest threat will be in northern Iowa, including Spencer and Sheldon, and extend as far north as Worthington and Jackson in southern Minnesota. There is also the threat for very large hail on Friday afternoon and Friday evening with these thunderstorms as they develop during the afternoon. This threat will include cities such as Spencer, Yankton, Sioux Falls, Wyndham, Worthington, and Jackson. There is also a lesser threat for severe thunderstorms to the north and west of this area, including Marshall and Brookings. These storms would produce hail perhaps up to quarter size or one inch in diameter. In addition, there also could be hail up to quarter or half dollar size to the south of this area, including Sioux City and Storm Lake, Iowa. There is a threat for damaging winds up to 70 miles an hour late Friday afternoon and Friday evening for much of northwest Iowa, as well as extreme northeast Nebraska, including Sioux City and Spencer. These winds would primarily be a threat with a possible squall line that may develop along a cold front during the late afternoon and into the evening and move rapidly to the east. So in summary, we could see thunderstorms develop late Thursday night and continue into early Friday morning across portions of southeast South Dakota, northeast Nebraska, northwest Iowa, and into southwest Minnesota. A few of these storms could produce hail up to one inch in diameter. These storms are expected to move north of the area during the morning, and then we're expecting more thunderstorms to develop sometime on Friday afternoon, especially near the Iowa and Minnesota border, where the threat for tornadoes will be greatest. There's also a large hail threat that is primarily southeast of a line from Yankton, South Dakota to Wyndham, Minnesota, where we could see up to golf ball size hail or even a little larger. There could be some quarter size hail a little bit farther northwest of that area. We could see damaging winds up to 70 miles an hour in portions of northwestern Iowa and adjacent areas of northeastern Nebraska. We like to emphasize that at the time, the threat remains uncertain and that this threat could move over the next 24 hours. We will be providing more information on the severe weather threat across the region late Friday morning. For additional information on the threat for severe weather, stay tuned to local media and be sure to visit our website. Again, this briefing will be updated on Friday morning.